All right, we are about to take a look at a very cool property at Chalk Bluff, 10.76 acres. This is tract 17. Uh, this is the only tract at Chalk Bluff that uh, borders the Ozark National Scenic Riverway, which uh, encompasses the Jack's Fork River. And I think we'll see the, the actual river in a moment here. The property is actually uh, less than a quarter mile from the actual Jack's Fork River. So we're looking, um, we're looking essentially southerly right now. So the north part of the property is level. Uh, you get a, a couple hundred feet in and it slopes down steeply and there's actually a little creek bed at the south side of the property. Um, and that creek bed uh, flows westerly for about a quarter mile into the Jack's Fork River. So uh, now we're uh, still looking southerly uh, and we're parked uh, on the gravel road at about the uh, northeast uh, part of the property. The northern part uh, was logged about 10 years ago. The middle and the south part uh, was not. So that's actually got some, some big timber on it, the middle and the south part. It, it probably wasn't logged because uh, um, it, it's steep, so it was more work for them to, if they had to get those trees off the middle and the south part, so they, they really just kind of moved on after they they did that north part but even the north part i mean it wasn't clear cut you can see that now we're looking westerly off in the distance there is the jack's fork river now we're panning around and still looking essentially westerly a little more northwest that gravel road you see borders the the east side of the property and the property sits to the left of it here's a good shot right there you can see uh to the left of the road where where it's uh, level and then where it slopes down and where the big timber starts is, is kind of where that steep slope begins. So you've actually got some big timber. Oh, that, that's cool. I didn't even know this, but you can see um, off in the background, that's, uh, that's the actual chalk bluff that you're looking at. Chalk bluff overlooks the Jack's Fork River and we can see the, the Jack's Fork. And like we mentioned, the west side of this property borders the Ozark National Scenic Riverway area. And you'll have to look at the maps to, to kind of see that. But that uh, that's on both sides of the Jack's Fork River, and it follows it uh, until it goes into the current river. And then it encompasses the current river too, I believe. We're probably looking for the creek bed at the south side of the property. It's down there somewhere. Uh, but, I mean, beneath all those mature trees, it'd be really, really tough to see. Little bit there, you can kind of see it through the canopy. Uh, we've only hiked down there once, and it was flowing. Uh, not a huge creek by any means, but it was flowing. Um, that middle portion of the property is steep. I mean, it's, it's, not a, it's not a bluff like chalk bluff that you see in the distance, but it, it's certainly steep. I mean, it... It would be the northern uh, couple acres that you'd want to use for for building or camping or whatnot um, but i mean it's it's cool you could it'd be a fun property to explore and look for caves there's going to be some really neat surprises uh, on this particular tract and if you look at the topo map uh, at the north part of the property you've got a, a good size usable area uh, level area toward that north side When you consider the, you know, even the average fairly large building site is about a quarter acre and you've got uh, probably close to two acres of uh, fairly, fairly level ground on that north side. Now we're looking kind of easterly over the property, level area on the left and gets steep on the right. In the distance we can see that gravel road and there's kind of a level open area on the property. Oh, and there's the truck parked on the, the road there. So yeah, great tract. We love this one. Um, very private. The road continues, the gravel road continues northerly past the property and actually goes to Chalk Bluff. Uh, and then really it, it becomes a trail, but we're told it, it goes right down to uh, uh, the Jack's Fork River if you keep going on there. And then easterly, about a mile to the east, and you'll drive through it on the way to the property, you've got the uh, Rocky, Creek, Rocky Creek, excuse me, Conservation Area. Oh, look at this view. What a property. Uh, Rocky Creek Conservation Area, which uh, that particular section is about 3,000 acres. And uh, 
generally you can use that for, for hunting and recreation as well. So you've got your private 10 plus acres and then uh, uh, close to Jack's Fork River, Chalk Bluff, and uh, only about a mile to the, the Rocky Creek Conservation Area, which is 3,000 acres that, that one section of Rocky Creek is. I don't even know if we'll actually see the Jack's Fork. I don't know if we're going to get far enough. Oh, there it is. Yep. <laughs> Jack's Fork River is beautiful. There you can see Chalk Bluff, the property, Jack's Fork River, uh, the gravel road. That's a pretty good shot right there. And the video is about to end, so that, that worked out well. But, man, what a special property. That is awesome. Instantacres.com. Let us know if you have any questions. Uh, tract 17 at Chalk Bluff. 10.76 acres surveyed with the corners marked. 